All right, hello everyone. So in this video, guys, we're gonna be uh, approaching the one of the uh, OWASP top tens, which is director directory traversal. We're gonna apply this um, vulnerability, okay, on a vulnerable machine called Sunrise. Uh, as usual, guys, you can find the vulnerable machine on vulnerable hub, okay. Now, as you know, all we're gonna move past the scanning. We're gonna move past the scanning and enumeration. Uh, so I'm gonna apply directory to first, and I'm gonna show you how to apply this vulnerability on this case, which is Sunrise. So guys, you navigate to the um, IP on the port 8080. So as you can see, there is a fingerprint on the uh, web page, which is generated by WebORF. So if you do a bit, a bit of lookup on WebORF, you're gonna find that WebORF is kind of, you know, web server designed for sharing directories and files. It is not common for me. I don't know if you, many of you guys have used it. Actually, I didn't understand the practical cases of using WebORF or, you know, if there are any um, real, case, um, real cases that of companies or, you know, or any people who are still using these kind of um, servers. If you guys use this, just comment out or if you have information about this, just give me an example or just explain to me. I didn't understand this. So WebOrf, as I can see, it is kind of HTTP server to share your files. I'm not quite sure why, uh, why specifically to share your files. But anyway, uh, let's go back to, as you can see, we have, as a pen testing, or pen testers, you don't need to know all and everything about web servers, the kind of web servers, you know, you just need to know the basics and how things work. So basically, when you see a fingerprint like this, your pen testing intuition will trigger you to go to Google and type weborf0122, and you'll end up in an exploit in the you know, fame, infamous Excel database website. As you can see, WebOrf 0.12.2 has a directory traversal vulnerability. Now let's see how the guide over here uh, lays out the approach into exploiting this. So it says, and uh, this vulnerability, okay, could allow attackers to read arbitrary files and hack the planet. So we can read arbitrary files like password file, shadow file, whatever is sensitive in the system. Now, how to apply this? As you can see, you need to apply get request. It means that you only, get request means you only need to enter the request through the browser. So you take this typical basic classic directory traversal string. We place this like this and we hit enter. As you can see, we are presented with the content of the password file. Now, the password, the, the password file should always have um, uh, the read write permission only for the root or the owner of the system. And other permissions should be zero, guys. No one should read the content of the password file except the owner. Seven, zero, zero. Okay. Now, so what this means, guys, we can navigate through the file system. How can we do this? So actually, we can use the exploit like this. So percent two f it means the slash. Okay. So if you want to navigate to, for example, home, and we can say sunrise here. Page not found. Okay. Let me try put user or home. And here, sunrise. And I put the symbol for slash. Now I can access the home directory of the user sunrise. As you can see, desktop, documents, downloads, whatever. Now, user.txt is an interesting file. We can just maybe ignore this. So now we type here user.txt. And there's a string, as you can see. I'm not interested in decoding this. It's not in the scope of my video. The scope of my video always, guys, to show you the real case use of um, CTF, you know. I'm not interested in showing you flags, decoding strings, solving puzzles, 
it's not on our scope. Our scope is to uh, explain the practical aspects of these machines. Okay. Now, so if we remove that and we try home or web orf here, there is a user called web orf. Yeah. So we have a user called web orf or home directory for web orf and so on and so forth, guys. So basically, this is the uh, this is a stage of this challenge on this machine where you apply directory traversal vulnerability on a web server of WebORF. You know, guys. Now, in the next video, I'm gonna guide you through privilege escalation of this machine, guys. Okay. So thank you, guys, and see you in the next video.